Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Today is November 30, 2019. Download your free trial copy of the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, rated the number one exchange planner by Denarians for Denarians for both pre and post RV planning. The link is in the description below. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert. First Article of Interest Extraordinary Session of the Council of Ministers on the Resignation of Abdul Mahdi The Council of Ministers, on Saturday, an extraordinary session called by Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi to present the subject of his resignation and the government and submitted to the House of Representatives and to discuss the consequences of the government of the conduct of daily affairs in accordance with the Constitution. The Prime Minister affirmed the principle of the peaceful transfer of power in the democratic system, and the achievement of the interests of the people is an underestimating goal, a statement issued by the Council told Shafak News. He called on the House of Representatives to find appropriate solutions at its next session, and called on members of the government to continue their work while forming the new government. The Prime Minister reviewed the complex circumstances in which the government was formed, the challenges it faced and the achievements it has achieved in the past period at the internal level in foreign relations, the statement said. Next article of interest. Expert reveals constitutional mechanism to dismiss government and choose alternative. Legal expert Ahmed Abadi, on Saturday the constitutional mechanism to dismiss the government and choose a replacement. There is a constitutional mechanism to dismiss the government, with the approval of an absolute majority of the parliament, according to Article 81 first, Abadi said in a statement to the Ashark al Asset newspaper. Ministers when the post is vacant. He added that, the president of the republic in a maximum period of 15 days another candidate to form a government in accordance with Article 76 of the Constitution. He, explained that, five members of parliament can ask the presidency of the parliament to question the prime minister and for the reasons presented by them and can dismiss the government by an absolute majority of the number of members of parliament and the government is resigned in the event of the dismissal of its president. Next article of interest. Hadithi announces new provisions against senior officials. Prime Minister Saad al Hadith's press office announced on Saturday that new orders had been issued against senior officials on suspicion of corruption. There is a central special court for corruption crimes, which was formed in coordination between the executive judiciary, he said. He pointed out that, the court issued a decision to the investigative bodies in the courts of appeal in all the courts of Iraq to issue arrest warrants and recruitment and seizure of funds to anyone found guilty of suspicion of corruption. Al-Hadithi revealed that dozens of recruitment, detention, arrest and even prison sentences were issued against senior officials at the level of ministers, governors, members of parliament and members of provincial councils. Noting that, work is continuing in this regard and other decisions will be issued in succession in the next few days. Next article of interest. Deputy. Abdul Mahdi's resignation will not escape accountability. MP of the Victory Coalition Nada Shaker Jadat, Saturday, that the resignation of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi will not escape and security leaders from legal accountability over the blood that flowed in Baghdad and the provinces especially the recent events of Nasiriyah and Najaf. Jadat said in a statement to the information that the resignation of Abdul Mahdi came late and will not cancel his accountability for the occurrence of hundreds of victims and thousands of wounded demonstrators and security forces during the period of protest and protest, noting that the large numbers of martyrs and wounded that fell in Nasiriyah and Najaf did not it was an unknown destination. She added that, the political blocs have to stay away from making mistakes in the past during the nomination of the Prime Minister, demanding, the need to bring an independent personality and not calculated on any political side. Jadad explained that, the general trend within the House of Representatives going to nominate a personal and an independent government and determined at a certain time until new elections. The media office of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi confirmed earlier Saturday that the letter of resignation of the latter will be before the House of Representatives before the meeting on Sunday, 
pointing out that Abdul Mahdi is committed to the statement of his resignation. Next article of interest. Deputy calls for the creation of a third party between the blocs and demonstrators on the nomination of alternative Abdul Mahdi. MP called for the conquest coalition Hain and Al-Qadu, Saturday. Political blocs to find a third party is coordinating between demonstrators and political blocs to agree on a figure acceptable to all, likely to specify a specific time for the next government to prepare for early elections. al Qadu said in a statement to Alma Aluma that, finding an alternative to the outgoing Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi will not be satisfied with the demonstrators unless they have an opinion and will be rejected in case of omission. He added that, the political blocs have become in a difficult position and fear any bloc of taking responsibility for the choice, so I call the political blocs to find a third party as coordinating between the blocs and demonstrators in the selection of alternative Abdul Mahdi. The general tendency is to set a specific time limit for the next government to prepare for early elections, he said. Earlier in the day, the alliance had set four conditions for accepting the next prime minister, who would succeed Adel Abdul Mahdi, adding that accepting the next candidate would be in line with the protesters' opinion. Next article of interest. Soren sets four conditions for accepting the next prime minister. The coalition of Sarin, on Saturday, four conditions to accept the next prime minister who will succeed Adel Abdul Mahdi noting that acceptance of the next candidate will be in line with the opinion of the demonstrators. MP Alliance Riyad Masudi said in a statement to the information that the alliance will not intervene in any dialogue on the choice of replacement for the outgoing Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, but he will have a view of the choice under the Dome of Parliament when granting confidence. Al Masudi said, our acceptance of the next candidate will be in line with the opinion of the demonstrators with four conditions that must be met by the next candidate is to be a real independent, professional and strong and enjoys a national reputation by the Iraqi people and the demonstrators in particular. A member of the House of Representatives Abbas Yaber confirmed in an earlier statement to the information that the names put forward during the past hours as a substitute for Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi after their resignation is not acceptable to Parliament, pointing out that a large number of deputies agreed to be a successor Abdul the Mahdi is independent. Next article of interest. Statement by the White House. The United States will assume the presidency of the Security Council next month. The White House announced that President Donald Trump will meet with the permanent representatives of the United Nations Security Council on the 5th of next month, coinciding with the assumption of the presidency of the Council during the month of December. President Donald Trump will meet with the permanent representatives of the UN Security Council on December 5th, the White House said in a statement. Trump will shed light on the U.S. leadership of the U.N. Security Council and will invite permanent representatives to act to address the challenges to international peace and security, the statement said. Members of the Council will go to Washington and are expected to have lunch with President Trump, a U.N. Security Council source said. The members are also likely to visit Kentucky, home of the U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Security Council, Kelly Kraft from December 13th to 15th. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted on new news as it unfolds from Iraq. Don't forget to grab your free trial copy of the CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, the number one must-have tool for the currency exchange for both pre- and post-RV planning. The link is in the description box below. Remember to stay informed and stay alert. Knowledge is power. More articles of interest to come, over and out for now, the Denarian.